it's an adrenaline rush. When the alarm goes off, you don't know what you're gonna get, and you get there, it's you. You've gotta take care of the patient, you gotta extricate the patient, and it makes you feel absolutely great when you save somebody's life. It may be the worst day of their lives if they're in a car accident or um, a family member is having a medical emergency, but that's where the, the passion and the drive comes, is helping people, helping my community, wherever it may be. Today, I've got the class broken up into four shifts. Uh, they act as a patient, and then the other shift takes care of them. And that's time, just exactly like it is in the, if you're working for the fire department, they have exactly 10 minutes, which is the maximum scene time. They have to evaluate the patient, package the patient, and be ready to transport them. Right now, nobody's making the 10 minutes, but by the end of the semester, everybody's making the 10 minutes. It's just constant practice. I was doing impaled objects, so that's just basically if somebody like gets stabbed or shot. So just like stabilizing the object and just controlling their bleeding. Can you squeeze my fingers for me, sir? Let go. In the different stations, we're taught all these skills, and it's very scary to take on at first, but with all of his experience and all of his tips and tricks, his input in the class is invaluable. It's a lot of tough love in this class because you're dealing with people's lives, so it just like shows how important it is and how much like you really need to study and know what you're doing because you have people's lives at hand, and so he's done a really good job at like sharing his wisdom and helping us like grow stronger in this field. After midterm, they have to spend a 12-hour continuous shift in the emergency room. Of that 12 hours, one hour is spent in triage to see exactly how the nurse triages the patient as they come in the door. Then they have an additional 12 hours on a working medic unit in El Dorado County. We do ER time, which I am really excited about. We get to go and just spend 12 hours, and we just like help and work, work with patients and talk to people, and we do the same in the ambulances, and we do ride-alongs. I get to like learn about the field and learn about helping people and that's been really fun for me. We have the, the high pass rate on National Registry. They have jobs at Red Hawk Casino, a Thunder Valley Casino, of course all of the ambulance companies. Uh, if you want to go to work for the fire department such as El Dorado County Fire, El Dorado Hills Fire, uh, you have to have your EMT as a basic requirement, so it lets them apply for these jobs. I personally think that like, just like being able to save like one person like is gonna be worth it to me just to know that I helped somebody.